Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess from Bahati Life Apothecary for those of you guys that don't already know. And this reading is for my Libras for the month of October for the year 2019. Now the cards that I pulled are cards that I have not seen before. So as I'm shuffling them and as I'm flipping them over, I'm seeing them for the first time. So let me go ahead and crank this down so you can see what I see and let's go ahead and get started. The first card I see is Deep Freeze. Condor, you're too enmeshed in the situation, so step back and see the bigger picture before making any decisions or taking action. I feel like putting this one here. The dog, loyalty, sincerity, unconditional love. Spiritual law of attraction. Ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation. Signs. Bright future. Abundance. It's not as if you need anyone mistakes let go of control issues and then we see two of wands and the knight of swords now first things first my loves libras october is going to be a month for you to really pull back for a minute for you to pull back and for you to see things a little differently i think when i see cards like let go of control issues um, two of Wands, the Condor, ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation, Law of Attraction, which is really the Law of Detachment, to be honest with you, Deep Freeze and Signs, it's not as if you need anyone. This is about separating yourself from being so close in everything. There needs to, you need to observe more now than you want to act I'm seeing with the Knight of Swords and the Condor and ask my Archangel Michael to help you with the situation and let go of control issues. This is giving your power over to something bigger than you. This is you not springing in. This is you not leaping into action. This is you not calling the shots right now. This is about detaching yourself. Um, I also think that the same thing that is that you want to manifest, the same thing that is that you want to see development with and that you're waiting for the signs of is the same thing that is not going to leave you. If you take time for yourself, Libra, hear me when I say this, when you take time for yourself, you will see that that time, that detachment, that waiting before you decide, that before you jump in and make a mistake is really important for you to see what is there for you, what is it almost needs to prove itself to you. It almost needs to choose you. That is the law of attraction. It is going to come in. It's a part of your destiny um, for these things to come in. But I also think that you need to let go of your striving. You need to let go of your, okay, how is this going to happen? I'm going to jump in. I'm going to make a, a decision. I'm going to choose this. This is what, no. You need to separate yourself from the outcome. You need to separate from what you think things are and just kind of allow things to mellow just a little bit allow things to be still your what is for you will not pass you is one thing that i really want i feel like you're looking at this knight of swords and it almost seems as though you feel as though this thing this abundance this prosperity this bright future this loyal thing this loyal person is going to just shoot right past you and they're not going to see you so you feel that you need to make yourself known you need to put yourself out there you need to catch their eye catch this do this do this i've got to do all these things in order to attract 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 and i i just truly i don't think that that's the case i think that for you libra it's time for you to realize that you are in a position right now and you should be in a position right now where you are taking care of yourself libra you're one of the signs that knows all about that i almost feel like sometimes you can be a little showy but it's not that's just because i'm an earth sign so sometimes i'm i learn from libras by watching how much they you know put energy into making themselves look good and feel good i just feel like in a lot of ways you are almost being called right now to embrace the unknown to embrace how things don't make sense to embrace the imperfection the you know this is not pretty this is not the most attractive side of you that you feel but something about that is going to be the thing that helps to align you to be at the right place at the right time but it's not something that you need to put yourself out there when i'm i really want to focus on the law of attraction card really quickly because with the law of attraction it's about knowing what it is that you want putting it out there and then releasing your need of it. <laughs> so it's it kind of messes with your brain a little bit because you just spent so much time calling in, focusing on it, and connecting to the feeling, and then as soon as you've connected to the feeling, then you release your need, 
right? But it's let go of control issues. Ask Archangel Michael to help you with the situation. You're too enmeshed in the situation. Take a step back and see the bigger picture. Two of Wands, watch and wait. Deep freeze, it seems like it's not happening. It seems like it's not gonna happen. It is going to happen. What is for you will not pass you. There is abundance that is gonna get poured into you. There are doors that are gonna be open for you. And these are things that, you know, you will see the signs of it, obviously, because that card is here. It's just gonna show up. It's gonna make itself known, but for right now, it's about releasing your need to figure out how it's going to happen, or I just feel like for something about Libras, um, or Libra moon, Libra rising, Libra sun, you feel as though you have to do something, or you feel as though you have to be something, you know, be a little, like, perfect yourself, or, you know, dress yourself up, or be catchy. Like, that's the thing that I'm getting. I feel like, and I really feel drawn to this deck right now, for you guys I feel as though yeah yeah this could be it's like you feel like you have to almost entice and to romance or in like enchant into your life um, pull into your life but I think yeah see the snake this is all about pulling things in trying to entice them in with your words by creating this illusion this fantasy by things being new no I think that I know, it's not I think, I feel as though for the month of October, what you, you are being in a position where you, you are seeing who is going to be sincere with you, and that is what you want in your life, Libra. You don't want superficial, you want lasting. The lily is equal parts beautiful as it is, it's going to serve you for the rest of your life. It's going to always be there for you. Next thing we have is the dog, unconditional love, loyalty, sincerity. We don't want fool's gold we want gold gold for you and i really feel as though my loves libra this is about you learning that you don't have to attract into your life meaning like you don't have to do anything to trick someone into choosing you or trick tricking something to invest in you and be in be there for you it's not superficial this this thing that you want for your life this um waiting game that you're in right now it's not speeding the, up the process is not going to come by you in making it ethereal by ma you making it more beautiful more attractive than what it is and somehow that's going to make you more value add more value to you as a human being to you as a substance to you as what is it your gifts are i truly want you to hear libra that what you are manifesting in your life and what is on the horizon for you what is coming into your life is yours because you are worth it you are valuable i also am really drawn to this right now like, I feel like, you know, you need to see your worth. You need to see how priceless you are and how valuable it is, how valuable, how valuable your gifts are. What is that you're doing, who you are as a human being. You need to see that. This isn't about dressing yourself up. This isn't about convincing anyone. This is just you being who you are and letting people choose you, letting certain things approach you because they see the worth in your value. And interestingly enough, on the flip side of that, Libra, I feel as though, um, I feel as though you need to hear that, you know, it's, you need to feel confident within yourself. They, October, for some reason, I'm feeling this within my spirit for you. For some reason, October, this is about Libra stepping into a space of abundance and beauty and blessing that comes from internal. Sometimes for Libras, I know how important it is for you to do, like, um, to feel beautiful, to have skincare treatments and have nice things and to have good people around you and pretty, like, it's all about sometimes aesthetics. So I see in some ways you guys doing that, you stepping back into that um, and that making you feel like a king or a queen once again. I feel like you need to step into goddess energy. When I'm looking at prosperity and this woman right here glittering in gold and she's just pouring, I feel like you need to be poured into right now. And I think that it's going to come from people acknowledging you and people giving you like, you know, praising you. But also it's like mantras, you praising yourself, you speaking and don't feel guilty for that. Don't feel guilty for that. It's something that you need to, it's a part of the signs. That's some things that you need to see right now. You, no one wants, no one's expecting um, perfection from you. No one's expecting you to be perfect all the time or beautiful all the time. 
Um, it's like this self-love, this like self-value. It's not as if you need anyone. It's true, but at the same time, I think Libra is just like you're waiting for validation. It's, it's like you're waiting for people to tell you or confirm to you that this is going to happen, this is going to manifest, this is yours. Like you know that it's yours and you don't need to do anything. It's so funny too, because I'm looking at this card and the goddess and she has one hand stopping and she has one hand receiving like as an offer. So it's like, just stop, stop, stop trying. You know, don't, you don't, in this deep freight freeze spot, it feels like nothing is happening, everything is happening because you are actually manifesting faster. You're rocketing it into your life, but just detach. You don't need anything, you have everything. So when you detach, it will come into your life faster. And I also think that any stress, any worries, any tension that you experience because you're a human being and it happens to the best of us, give those worries to God, give those worries to the angels don't worry about it and then wait for the, the signs to show up okay and then I want to shuffle for oh look who's here okay I want to shuffle from this deck really quickly yeah it's so funny because you have two cards here. One is the card of die. If you don't find pearls on the seashore and there's safety, don't be too proud to go back to shore. So I feel like safety, this is about going to this deep freeze space. And while you're in this deep freeze, deep freeze, meaning like this quiet space where you're not actively trying, trying, pushing, taking these risks, doing these, like jumping through these hoops and these hurdles, um, that's when you're going to see things kind of, you know, I don't say like dive in, but you're gonna see things really starting to show. You're really gonna start to understand. You're really gonna gain knowledge of who you are, what is for you, the future. This month is about Libra feeling, gaining clarity on the future. I'm so sorry, I'm not sure why my camera just cut off like that, but let me angle it up just for a minute. But Libra, this month is all about, again, um, you coming into a space where it feels like, I feel like in your brain, you think that you're going to need to do more in order to, like, I don't know if you're feeling forced or obligated to do something or, or maybe you are for Libras, this is the time for like relationships sometimes. So maybe you feel like you need to partner up with someone. Maybe you feel you're better with, uh, you know, someone else. Um, it seems like things aren't happening with that or maybe in the relationship you guys it's not all about the activity the fun it's more about like learning about each other and being in that space of quietness so that you can dive into each other and get to know each other it seems like there isn't a lot going on but there's a lot that is happening by just being in you know by watching by observing by listening and not having to put on a show not having to be in everything all the time not always being involved and really stepping into you know the beauty of the moment we want the lily for you like this energy is all about innocence and it's all about beauty and it's all about what is lasting and you know there for you for the years to come and there because you you deserve it and you're an angel okay so that's what it is that i'm seeing for my libras for the month of october um readings are reopening so if you're interested in that you're gonna have to jump in on it real fast because people book up really fast um, but yeah, the links for that will be down below and make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and sharing it with your friends and the people that, is that you love. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.